and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge. Answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I'm answering is, what's in the box in regards to this small box from Ulysses Spiel for their adventure card game, Aventuria? This is a non-collectible card game set in the universe of the Dark Eye or Dashwash Arg, which is Germany's most popular role-playing game, like the equivalent of D&D over in Germany, which has been translated over. So this is a game to play for this. What I actually have here is Forest of No Return. This is the first official expansion for the Aventuria core set, the second edition, technically, which came out in 2016. Um, you do need a copy of the basic box to be able to use this expansion, uh, and this is the first story expansion. So Forest of No Return is the first expansion. It contains the adventures Forest of No Return in three acts, so you get a three-act adventure, as well as two short adventures. Selimina Delusions and Head Money. It also introduces a brand new character, the Brother Hilbert of Omen, a blessed one of the goddess Pyrian, who supports his friends and routes his enemies with divine magic. And I've got to say, having played through the original campaign, having a healer would be fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down on the table. We're going to crack this open. I have not seen what comes in this box. I assume it's going to be lots of cards. I'm going to show off what's in here, and you'll get to hear and see this for the first time, same time I do. Here you have it, the first expansion for Aventuria, set in the Dark Eye. This is from Ulysses Spiel. Um, this is the, the first core adventure expansion. So we start, nope, that's interesting that it didn't line up. We start off with a book, of course, the adventure expansion. So you get to see the overview of the invention here. We have a bunch of new rules, which I am gonna flip up really quickly. Oh, we have a number of new rules. All right, so we're going to look at the new rules really quickly. So we have rules for the environment. We have liturgical chants, which is probably a new type of magic. Then we have swarms, rules for swarms. And new keyword, a new type of keyword. Now, this is where I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not going to hold this so you can read it. Here is Act 1 of the main adventure. We're going to skip past all of that and go to the start of the short adventure. No, that's still part of it. Then we have a short adventure. Looks like it's two pages. And there should be one other short adventure, which is another two pages. We are looking at a grand total of 15 pages. So there is all of your adventures in Forest of No Return. So one full three-act adventure and two short adventures. Then we have a punch board that's already come apart. And what I think is fascinating here is we have a character wheel for our new character. So this is a way to track its, their hit points instead of using the cards that come in the base game. We now have a new token for our new character. This is what's used to determine initiative and like who, if, if a random character is activated on. We have another fate token. So we have a fate token here, as well as some little tentacle tokens. I don't know what this one is. And then we have some kind of buff tokens. There's someone, like, flexing their arm there. I've never seen those before. Getting back to the main game, we, have, of course, have cards. Uh, we have two pieces, two pegs for assembling that wheel. What I am trying to tell is... So this is snapped together. So unlike the Wheel of Life expansion... The, once you assemble this um, health wheel, you once you assemble this health wheel, you will not be able to take it apart, which makes sense because it's not two-sided. We have two sets of packs of cards here. We're going to go through these fairly quickly. I will not be showing off any of the story parts, but I will show you how thick each section of the cards are. So we start off with a whole bunch of adventure cards. Here. So we have those we're going to look at. Then we have the new heroes cards. Then we have part three of No Return. Ooh, that's, uh, okay. So let's No Return, part two of No Return. I didn't see part one of No Return. So we're going to toss this. Fortunately, I don't, can't get all of this into the camera. So we're going to put this here. What I'll do is I'll move this out of the way. So we have this. We have some adventure cards. Those are hero cards. We have a whole bunch more adventure cards. And then we have more parts of No Return. So more No Return 2s. 
some no return ones. We have new leader action cards. That makes me excited. And then we have more adventure cards. And some new event cards. Sweet. New event cards are always welcome. And we have a whole other stack of cards. We're going to crack open right now. These all opened great. They have a, the pull string style to open. So we have a significant number of new henchmen. Nice. And then the other adventure cards for Somian Delusions. This one looks complicated. For a short adventure, that's a significant deck. Which, I don't know, we'll throw that one. I'm out of room up there. Then Head Money, which is another short adventure, and then a whole bunch more adventure cards. So let's start. I am not going to show these off, but I do want to show the size of the deck. So here's the thickness of... Unfortunately, that's not turning out too good. This is for one of the short adventures, Head Money. The deck for Sell Me in Delusions. Again, fairly sizable deck. And then the three-part adventure, as you would expect, is significantly thicker. I'm not going to show off any of these cards because I don't want to spoil anything. Then we're going to go to the new event cards. We are looking at four new events. We have an underground event, a ruin. Sorry, I don't want people to read these, but we have an underground event, a ruin event, a ruin ship and underground event, and a ruin event. So no new general events. So it looks like these are all going to be locations that only come up in this particular adventure. Those are not any of the ones that come up in the core game. Leader actions, we have necromancy actions, so that would come up possibly in the original game. A general, there we go, this was open for. Two general leader actions, so these are going to affect every game if you throw these in your deck. Going forward, we have a trap, I haven't seen those before. Another necromancy, a guild magic, and another guild magic. So these are leader actions, new leader actions. Then we're going to quickly go through the henchmen. Uh, we have some very cool, a demonic owl. Threat 3, a thieving giant bat. We have a couple of those. We have rabid forest wolves. I am really looking forward to adding some variety to my uh, my personal henchman deck. We have some mean wolves. We have a swarm of bats, which we noted that there were new swarm rules in this expansion. A swarm of rats. A scuttling crypt bug. Uh, that's creepy as heck. Two of those. We have a Crawling Giant Protean. There are two of those. Uh, this one's interesting. We have a Weakened Shape Changer, and I love the art. It's just, I don't know, it's got a question mark. A Torturer. A Small Kraken Newt. A Brainless Zombie. We have two of those. Two Strong Mummies. And Aggressive Bears. I am looking forward to tossing all of these in my core deck once we get this going. Now we will move on to our new hero. We're just going to show this off quickly. Here are his basic stats. What's this? That's a special ability blessed. So this is the special ability card. And then like the core game, once you use your special, you're going to flip. Um, not very good at melee combat, only a 9. So-so at range, but magic is an 11 with a dodge of 5. Then we have their skills listed here which I'm not going to go through, but let's see, the highest one appears to be Persuade. That's it for that. Now we move over here, and I'm going to quickly go through the adventure cards. So a whole bunch of these are going to be for the characters. So we have a Sling, Animal Shape, Handful of Sand, Sturdy Robes, Treat Wounds, Magical Aptitude, Sleight of Hand, Self-Control. Oh, I found more adventure cards. Oh yeah, I did not sort this deck very well. I apologize. So jumping back, I have a whole... Oh, that's why they're, they're, they're adventure cards on the back. But I have a whole bunch of cards for No Return Part 2. So there are obviously some kind of reward you can earn because they have the adventure card on the back. So we're going to jump over, over to my No Return deck and throw in these with No Return Part 2. Face up. So again, a whole ton here. Again, we're going to go back and... I have, we have new adventure cards for infected wounds. 
So again, another new rule that's going to come up. These would again come into play depending on the story. Then we get back to the deck for this character. We have Magical Lore, Anatomy, Good Memory, Sturdy Robes. So that's a second set of Sturdy Robes. Temple Donation, Friend of Fairies, Entangling Vine, Holy Atonement, Atonement, Swarm of Hornets. So this character seems to be more of a Druid type character. Consonants of the Mind, Martyr's Blessing, Protective Amulet, Miracle, Strengthening, Hailstorm, Cast Net, Danger Sense, Admonition, Another Danger Sense, Another Miracle, Another Swarm of Hornets, A Sickle, and oh, 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 no. And then we have some rewards, which I'm just going to flash up quickly. We have the Unerring Throwing Dagger. Oh, you don't see the stats. The Half Poison, the Weapon Master's War Axe, and the Crystal Ball. So there you go. That's everything you get in this expansion. Looks really solid. I am very excited about some of these things. So this and this. Nope, those are rewards. This and this. So here is the new 30-card deck. 30-card deck for the new character, which I am going to put with that. So brand new deck, brand new character, ready to play right here. We're going to throw that into the box. We have a total of four. Four new reward cards, which these would just get mixed in with your core game. And when you get rewards, you shuffle them in and then possibly you get these as rewards. You have a significant stack of new henchmen, including some really interesting ones and some new types from the base game. We have a ton of new leader cards. Well, not a ton. Sorry, a handful. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven new leader cards. And... Four new event cards, with the events being at all new locations, but the leader cards, including some generics that you could use every leader fight. Back in the box, then we get over here, and this is now the final deck. So here are all the cards. That's a significant chunk of cards for the new adventure, three-part adventure. And then the cards for two short adventures. This and this. Now, everything does fit back into the box, I guess, fairly neatly. This is probably going to turn into a mess uh, when I do do it. That is something I am looking for for Adventuria, is I'm hoping that Ulysses Spiel gave me some way to organize my components. Because right now, it's all loose in a big box. Interesting that they gave you a wheel. So we're going to put all that back in here. The little plastic bit for assuming uh, assembling it. And there we have... If I can... This is not actually square. Interesting. That looks square. It's not. It's actually slightly rectangular. There you have it. Aventuria. Forest. Nope, down here. Forest of No Return. A Dark Eye adventure card game. So there you have it. What you get in the Aventuria Forest of No Return expansion. The first expansion for the Aventuria adventure card game. Really excited about the contents of this box. You got all kinds of new henchmen. You've got some new leader abilities, including some generics so that you can use them in every game. You've got some new uh, event cards that at this point, I haven't seen any adventures that use those locations, but do give you new locations that weren't included in the base game. You've got a whole new character who seems like a mix of a druid and a cleric from Dungeons and Dragons, which is the fantasy system I know the best. Um, two short adventures and one three act adventure which, wow, does that three-act adventure have a lot of cards. So it looks like it's going to have some really interesting things going on. Again, this was spoiler-free, so I didn't look through anything. This is the first expansion for Adventuria. Forest of No Return from Ulysses Spiel. Really looking forward. I'm probably going to be playing this one tonight. Now, I am Motuzino Tabletop Bellhop. All over the internet, Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Website, tabletopbellhop.com. Lots of cool stuff there. Go check it out. If you dig what we've been doing, head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. That's all for tonight. Not a lot of promotion. I'm playing this one tonight. I'm looking forward to it. I'm confused by the wheels, and there's a wheel in here. That surprised me. I wasn't expecting that at all. So that's it for me. Good night, and game on.